for you. Have you heard mystical creatures have taken over the Overland Park Arboretum? Now they aren't just roaming around. They have houses there thanks to four acquaintances turned best friends. When you're walking through the Arboretum in Overland Park, it seems pretty normal. Trees, leaves, but wait, but wait, you eventually stumble on this what are we looking at? This is awesome. The Enchanted Forest. The Enchanted Forest. Somehow this has turned into a child's dream. And we're not talking about just this. This is one home, if you will, of a much bigger display. Yeah, there's a whole gnome community here. I cannot wait. And we actually have the four artists here. Mm -hmm. And they're friends now. I'm going to go talk to them. So come on, we're going to talk to them. You guys became friends doing these projects? Yes, we did. Yes, you we did. You have to tell me this story. All right, so we were all volunteers at the Arboretum. Um, this project came up by some people just wanting something to get people out on the trail. We all were chosen from different people, <laughs> and <laughs> these are our gals. So the four of us have done all of these luminaries and these houses last year's and now this one as a foursome and we became great friends hours and hours 600 hours of volunteers for this and we worked side by side in a workshop in the arboretum and we just created all of these these were actually down trees from storms yes yes so when the idea came to have something like a castle we knew we needed a massive base for stability and height. Yeah. So we um, talked to some Arboretum staff and they said there's great logs further out, took us out to the site and we found all these logs that were down the trees throughout Overland Park. And some of these are trees from the Arboretum themselves. So we all went out there and decided on this one, which is like three feet high, four feet wide, and it's hollow in the middle. Wow. So we chose this because it looked like it would be the base of a castle, and it had great detail, and we were always trying to choose logs that had little nooks and crannies in them and little openings, like this one. This is like what we loved. <laughs> and Andra did this one, and she put a little dragon inside there just because it's a fairy castle, it's Why a gnome not? castle. Yes. You guys actually walked around the woods to find all the other stuff. We're looking at moss, the rocks, everything you guys chose. Yes, we did. We wanted to keep the natural look because it's a gnome and it's fantasy and it's imagination and what would a gnome use to build a house. So we would go through the arboretum, we'd find the, the strips of birch bark, moss is all over. This is wood pieces that we assembled onto these just for interest. Um, there's acorns in here, there's sticks and stones and anything that you can find on the ground, we would pick up and say, I, I need that. We have really gelled as friends and coworkers and creative and we spin off of each other and we decided to stay together. So it's the four of us or it's none of us. That place is honestly so cool. Kids and families were absolutely loving it. You didn't see them. I think it had to do something with the cameras being out there, scared them away, but <laughs> so fun seeing their reaction, just checking it all out. And you can too until September 4th. So make sure you head out that way. Gina, you have to check it out. So yeah, cool. that looks so fun. It is.